evening and welcome. At this time, I'd like to call to order this meeting of the Muscle Shoals City Schools Board of Education. Thank you, Madam President. The first item on the agenda is the approval of the agenda, and I recommend. All right. Thank you, Dr. Holden. Uh, board, the superintendent has asked us to approve the agenda as presented. Is there a motion to do so? Madam President, I make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Ms. Allman. There's a motion and a second. Is there any discussion about tonight's agenda? Hearing none, I will call for vote at this time. All those in favor of approving the agenda as presented, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? All right. They're all eyes, Dr. Holden, so the agenda is approved. All right. The first item on the agenda now is our spotlight school for the month is Webster Elementary. And so we have a video that Mr. Jason Simmons is going to present. So if we'll get the lights over there.
much. Appreciate that. All right. Next is uh, some correspondence. I have just some brief correspondence from the Alabama Association of School Boards. Uh, I think you guys are aware of this, but just to get it documented in our meeting, uh, whole board training has been scheduled for August the 18th, right? Mm -hmm. Dr. Davis here has been in touch with um, Dr. Lisa Stamps, who is their, their new um, person that's over leadership development, professional development, that type of thing. So we've got that scheduled to be right here from 1 to 3 on Friday, August the 18th. So just put that on your calendar. And then we talked about the, the legislative assignment or advocacy days, if you guys are interested in that. Talk about that during the work session. That'll be April the 18th or May the 2nd. All right, so next is our, our, our business action items under the consent agenda. Uh, under the consent agenda, uh, the board has been furnished with background material on each item or has, been, or has discussed the item at a previous meeting. Consent agenda items will be acted upon with one vote without discussion. If a board member wants to discuss any item, it will be pulled from the consent agenda and voted on separately. For the consent agenda tonight, we have the regular meeting minutes from February the 27th. We have the bills and accounts for February, the February financial report, and those bank statements have been reconciled. We have a recommendation from the textbook adoption committee here in Muscle Shoals for the adoption of English language arts for K-3. We have a meeting time change for our next meeting, uh, moving it back to 5 p.m. on April the 24th. We also have a slight increase uh, for rates for our community ed extended day program for the 23-24 school year. Uh, a recommendation to purchase seating for the planetarium, a new technology acceptable use agreement, and then during the work session tonight, we heard from Mr. Jerry Mercer where he presented audit findings for FY22, and that is also there uh, on the consent agenda for you guys to accept those findings. Does any board member wish to pull anything from the consent agenda and vote on it separately? Hearing none, Madam President, I recommend the consent agenda as presented. Thank you, Dr. Holden. <clears throat> Board, you've heard uh, the superintendent. He's asked us to approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there a motion to do so? I move. Uh, thank you, Ms. Allman. Is there a second? A second. Thank you, Mr. Wood. There is a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. Is there any discussion about the consent agenda as presented this evening? Hearing none, I will call for vote. Those in favor of approving the consent agenda items as presented, please say aye. 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 Okay, any nay? Okay, hearing none, Dr. Holden, the, the consent agenda items are approved. Okay, and then item B, I recommend the board approved the personnel report as presented. All right, um, is there a motion for us to approve the personnel report as presented? Madam President, I make a motion that we approve the personnel report. All right, thank you, Mr. Wood. Second? Second. Thank you, Mr. King. There's a motion and a second to approve the personnel report. Uh, does any board member have any discussion about the personnel report this evening? Okay, hearing none, I will call for a vote at this time. All those in favor of approving the personnel report as presented, please say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Hearing none, uh, the ayes have it, and the personnel report is approved. Dr. Holden. Okay, for the benefit of the audience, the personnel report tonight consists of the following under employment. Jane Poovey, teacher of special ed at Muscle Shoals High School. That'll be for next school year. And then under other part-time special appointments or supplemental assignments, nine AP teachers for stipends to be paid for additional instruction beyond the classroom. Uh, you have those AP teachers' names listed there. Also an individual for spring dance clinic instruction to be paid from the dance account. Also, an approval of an unpaid leave request by an employee for extraordinary circumstances. And then also, um, this is a correction to the tennis coaching supplement, removing Drew Smith and assigning Lanigan Burke to the tennis coaching supplement for this school year. And this was for information only, not for board action. A couple of teachers for leave requests with, uh, for medical purposes, and those uh, needs are going to be flexible and then no changes to any Kelly staffing uh, tonight. So with that, that's all I have on the personnel report. <clears throat> Thank you, right. Dr. Holden. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, my last thing, Dr. Rudolph, is just a quick superintendent's report. Uh, just begin with a few student achievements. I, I do want to commend our elementary and middle school 
choir groups for outstanding performances of the Lion King Jr. Hopefully you got a chance to see that. If you didn't, you missed a treat. I think a lot of these folks out in the audience got to see that. It was absolutely outstanding, awesome, whatever word you want to use, because um, these kids just really amazed. I mean, it, it definitely took our fine arts program, particularly the, the chorus and the show choir, to a new level. Uh, for, for our elementary and middle school. So I, I definitely take my hat off to Mr. Wilder. He had some help, Mrs. Frederick, and just the entire cast just did an outstanding job. And we look forward to them continuing to raise that bar. Absolutely. It's hard to, to, to top what they did this year, but I'm sure they'll do it. You know, the, the high school, I always thought that very same thing about them. You know, how can they top this next year? And then they do it. Yeah. So, but speaking of the high school, I think they have a presentation tomorrow night at 5.30 and 7.30, The Greatest Showman. So look forward to seeing that. That'll be at Stratford Auditorium, of course. Uh, we do want to uh, commend our high school and middle school bands, as well as our middle school chorus. All received superior ratings at the annual music performance assessment. Sometimes you hear that called MPA. And uh, I think the high school chorus had to reschedule theirs, correct, Dr. Davis? Uh, Miss Bradford, I think, had a death in her family, and so they had to they had to cancel their MPA performance, and they're going to do that, I think, in April sometime, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I did see where we had several Science Olympiad winners uh, recently, several first, second, third place winners. You have those students' names listed in your in your superintendent's report. We'll get those uh, in the minutes as well. And I uh, just like to see those types of things. Our Scholars Bowl, Science Olympiad, math teams, they compete and uh, always make us proud. I do want to commend Ms. Smith. Uh, she was recently elected to the class board of directors, as I understood it. So congratulations to you for that. We'll just give her a hand. And then last but not least, spring break is around the corner. We'll finish out the week. I know some principals may feel like we should be on spring break this week. But, uh, but yeah, this Friday we'll close it down for a week, and hopefully everybody will get an opportunity for a little rest and relaxation. And so uh, with that, that's all I have, Dr. Rudolph. All right. Thank you, Dr. Holden. Uh, does any board member have any Response I'd like to make to tonight's meeting or to the superintendent's uh, report. All right, uh, we've completed the agenda. It's been a good meeting. And um, so now I will proclaim this meeting adjourned. All right.